Are you familiar with codices? In Simumatic, we use it a lot for programming PLCs, and in this video, we are going to show you how to create your first PLC program and how to connect it to Simumatic. First of all, we are going to open a system in a workspace. So click in the load button and search in the public system. We are going to load the system called PLC Tutorial 2 Electric Doll. Select the system and click in the load button and give it some seconds to get it loaded in the workspace. This system is pretty simple and is perfect to get started with PLC programming. In the control assembly you will find the PLC component which is a generic PLC which has eight inputs and outputs and it's perfect to connect to any PLC which is compatible with OPC UA, not just codices. What we need to take care here is that the inputs will be written in a variable called inputs and the outputs will be read from a variable called outputs. This URL is the address in which we will find the OPC UI server in the PLC. So, so now we can open codices and we are going to create a new project. So we are going to click this icon here and we are going to select the standard project. So we'll give it a name and just give, on, give it some seconds to get it created. We are going to select ladder language for creating our first program. And once the project is created, we will start by creating a global variable list. So we are going to click here, add an object and select the global variable list. We can leave the name by default. And here we are going to remove this first row and just declare two variables. Inputs, it's going to be a byte and outputs another byte. Now we are going to save this and we are going to create another object called symbol configuration. This is the object in our project which will allow or enable the OPC UI feature. Let's add it and we click on build. If the global variables don't appear here, don't worry, we just need to right click in the global variable list, select the properties and check the and check the option link always in the build tab. Just select OK and try again. Now we should see the global variables here, inputs and outputs. If we check both boxes, we will see that we have access right both to read and write. Now, at this point, we can save the project and we can start the codices control win soft PLC. So right click on the PLC here in the sys tray and start it. Give it some seconds and it will light on showing the green and red lights that means the plc is up and running and now we can go online and download the program so let's wait until the gateway recognizes the plc and click online again after compiling the project it's going to be ready and we can start the PLC, put the CP CPU in the start mode, and now we can go back to Simomatic
and we can activate the gateway. Make sure it is connected. So we can click play and check if the connection is established. So as we see here, the PLC is running and everything looks okay. So actually now, if we press the button, we can check the values in the PLC. If we check, if we press the button, we will see that the input is activated and the value is changing. We have the first sensor here active and when we press the button, the first bit is also activated. We can actually now enter a value to the output. For example, if we set one, we are going to open the door. And if we set two, we are going to close the door. If we set the third bit, so a four in the output, we will see that the light is switching. You can check all the connections for the input and outputs, just selecting the PLC and checking here the different ports. So now let's create a simple program to control this door. We are gonna add lo uh, we are gonna add a ladder logic. So let's make the door open when we press the button and we are going to connect the first input or the zero bit, zero byte, zero bit and when we press the button we want to activate the first output so we are going to do it like this let's add a latch and keep it opening until the upper sensor detects that the door is open. So we can now add this logic and give it a try. Just click on play. Now we can press the button and the door will open until the upper sensor is detected. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. As you know, the Codesys platform is free, so you can give it a try and tell us how it went for you. Write us a comment and see you in the next video.